two years ago, I was stood in this exact spot. And then for a couple of years, uh, we didn't. But we're back. We're back at the British Shooting Show 2022. Hello there, and welcome to the Air Gun Gear Show. These are gonna be my best bits, things I like the look of, hopefully some new stuff, some faces, and a little bit of chit chat, and a little bit of fun. And I'm gonna tell you all about things air gun. Let's get started. A disclosure this video is funded entirely by me and in association with airgun101.com the best place for the latest airgun videos on the web and in association with my day job airgun101shop.co.uk no one has paid to be in this video it's always good to see people that have traveled a little bit of a distance and brought us something new and this is the Air Max stand and we have got here the Cayman. Now this is the Cayman X and I am going to look at my cheat sheet as we go along because there's lots of new things to learn here. So this Cayman X, look at that, that is a, it's a super compact bullpup. Look at that. Now, but the thing is, if you think that's short and compact, there's one behind me which is even shorter and compact. Look at that, how cute is that? Super lovely. Now, if I look at my cheat sheet, I can tell you that that one has got a 400 barrel on it, and this one has got a five, and I am looking at my cheat sheet, this one has got a 520 barrel on it. Now, those barrels are choked, they're CZ barrels, so you know that you're gonna put your pellet down something quality. And it really is so, so different. Now this is the laminate version. Okay, lovely, lovely laminate, nice gray laminate, and it's got a superb finish to it. And then of course you've got something like the walnut version at the back there, which is gorgeous as well. Now, the whole thing being so compact, in there you have got an air cylinder. Um, it's in there, you can tell it's in there because there's a little gauge just there, look, see, so you know it's in there. And your fill port is heavily hidden. Heavily hidden, what sort of a phrase is that? Very well hidden, just in there, look, see? And that's where you fill the gun up. On the underside, you've got a uh, attachment where you can put a rail. I think you need like a little brass stud or something for that. Nice Picatinny rail on the top, 20 mil MOA, so it's canted for you, well, canted, tipped forward for you a little bit. So that's gonna help uh, for you to get your, uh, your hold over. You've then got a nice side lever action there as well. Now the thing with this is that they tell me that that side lever can be swapped from left to right, depending on how you feel. And it just takes a few minutes at home. Then you've got magazine at the back. And if I do this, there we go. There's the magazine, oh, always on camera. Pops out, very nice simple magazine, super compact, super compact. It's a one piece metal magazine. It just seems to fit in there Whoop. really very nicely, like that. Now, obviously, the guns are completely discharged, so we are completely safe, even though I've just done that. At the back, you have a adjustable shoulder pad, which will go up and down for you, adjustable match trigger, so you can do everything you want there. And you're getting, you know, they're telling me it's oh, 50, 60, 70 shots uh, in sub 12 foot pounds from that cylinder. And you're gonna say to me, what is the cylinder size between here and there? And I'm gonna say to you, I need to look at my cheat sheet, which is just down here. And you've got a 190 cc cylinder on there. And this one is a 285. But it's very, very, dare I say, space age, because it's kind of like, all in, it's all in that wooden stock. Very, very nice. 
And did I mention that you can put moderators on the end as well? Hmm. The Cayman X. That is very, very nice. Now, I'm going to refer back to my cheat sheet because, i got to be honest, the first time I've seen the Air Max guns, and I need it because there are a lot of numbers on here because you've actually got a huge amount of options. So it's kind of like being in class at school. Now, the Catran, for example, as you see around me, beautiful guns. You can go with different barrel lengths. You can go from a 280, 400, 520. And those are, again, are all CZ barrels, all nicely choked, so you're going to get that quality. Something which I didn't mention before is that all Air Max guns are regulated. Depending on where you are in the world depends on, obviously, your power level. So let's just be clear on that. If you're in the USA, you're going to get a lot more power. If you're in the UK, you're going to get a little bit restricted. But obviously, talk to your retailer or something like that because they're going to help you out with those numbers. Now, with the Catran, you can go with the 165cc, which is the small little cylinder. You can have a 300cc bottle, okay, so they're fairly common. You can have a 200cc cylinder, and you can have a 480cc carbon bottle. Now, I'm told that they all fill up to approximately 300 bar. Now, with the Catran, it's very much a tactical look, skeleton stock look, that's how I see it. But, and I've got to say this now, these look so much better in the flesh compared to the pictures. When you see this online on the internet and everyone's holding it around and doing reviews, you're going to be like, yeah, it looks okay. Actually, it looks really, really good in the flesh. So on the Catran, you've got things like uh, adjustable stock at the back. So you've got length of pull, there's a good distance there. You can change the cheek piece, you can change the grip, you can go for laminate, you can go for a walnut stock. And of course, as you can see, it's a folding stock as well. And the lovely thing is, is that you can hold your spare magazines underneath. Very skeletal look, lovely design. The finish on them, I've got to say, looks absolutely fantastic. And I think they would be a joy to shoot. Of course, you can put your moderators on the end. You've got lovely Picatinny rails on the top. I'm literally going through it as I see it for the first time. But they do look very, very sweet as an air rifle. And i got to say, if you're going to get a chance to look at one, I really would suggest that you do so. And I thoroughly hope to shoot one in the future. On the Umarac stand, there's a couple of things. Uh, they're only small, but there are things. So, first of all, let's cover this. This is the Walther Rain, super popular rifle. I mean, it does really, really well. People love them. They think they're great. Of course, you've got the uh, like the synthetic polycarbonate, whatever you want to call it, stock, plastic stock, however you want to describe it. And it encompasses all the action. You've got the, the bottle cylinder in there. You've got a uh, magazine recesses in the back there in the cheek piece, the rail on the top, et cetera, et cetera. So we've seen that before, um, but what we've seen before is you come, you get sort of like this shielding. It's not really a shroud, but it's kind of like a barrel covering and it comes with the moderator on the front. Now they've changed that. They've brought out sort of like a Gen 2, I suppose you could call it. And I'll pick it up now. And we've now got this one. Now, Gen 2, Mark 2, whatever you want to call it, there is nothing different on this, nothing, except for the bit that you can probably spot, obviously. Basically, what you've got here is you've got this blue barrel, which is shorter. Same actual length than the original rain, it's just had that extra covering taken off it, so you've now got, you know, a blue barrel. And you've got the muzzle brake on the end, which you can take off and put a silencer of your own choice on the end. So really, actually, with the rain, uh, Gen 2, they've changed the barrel bit. I'm here on the Umarex stand and they've actually asked everyone just to move away for a second because everyone is literally thronging to the stand, which is fantastic. So thank you for everyone for moving around. Basically, there's three pistols, the M29s, that's causing all the attention here on the stand. 
and I think you can see why. These are absolutely gorgeous. There are now two variants of these. There is the pallet version, which is currently on the range. This is the BB version. Now the BB version is a smooth barrel. I'm told the pallet version is called a sort of part rifled part way down. And again, they're fed by, if these open, so they're fed by the cartridges in the back, if I show that to you there. And then you've obviously got the hammer system there and you can pull the trigger as fast as you want or you can hold the hammer back. The bluing or the coloring, however you would describe it, is absolutely gorgeous. These are so long waited for and they're such beautiful bits of kit. CO2 capsule will go in there. You've even got, and this is the thing, if you look at the end of the barrel, and we should never do that too much, but there's actually sort of fake rifling. Should we say fake rifling? But it is absolutely fantastic. And they come in one, so that's the, that's the three, two, see that? And then we'll put that one back. And then we've got three. Okay, so there's three, that's gorgeous. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? And the action on them, the feel to them, is beautiful. Lovely, like, little snub nose revolver. So there we go. Before I get all my wires all tangled up and everything like that, that's the M29. I want one of those in my own collection. Right. Thank you, everyone. You can come back and look again. Thank you. I'm here with Tom from Thomas Jacks. Good Hi. to meet you. How are you doing? doing? No. Very good. You guys do the immersive optics range we amongst do, yes. other things. Many um, other things, yes. Yeah, you're super knowledgeable on all your night vision and stuff like that. Apparently so. Apparently so. And we know how popular the immersive optics scopes are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, super, super clarity. They work really, really well and they are super popular. But you've got, it's just lay here on the side. You've got something a bit new. We have, yes. Are we allowed to talk about this? Yes, since it's right. you, Giles. Oh, yes, since it's me, <laughs> apparently. Right, who's going to do the show and tell first? I'll let you do the honours. OK, now, look at this. Now, it looks very, very similar. Obviously, it's, it's immersive, isn't it? It's, I'm it's, saying yeah. the right things. It looks very sim similar to a current immersive optic scope. But if you notice on the top, there's a power button so clearly it does something and then lying next to it is a rangefinder which makes things even more interesting doesn't it i am doing your job here for you, you know that's fine that's you fine. He's quite all right with that. did it very well <laughs> now you can't see the reticule in here because obviously we're filming at a trade stand but this has got something in there that is called active crosshair Technology. technology. See, it's been a long day. Active crosshair technology. And what it does is basically you point the rangefinder at what you're shooting at at distance. And this has an app as well, and you can put all your ballistic data in. So you point the rangefinder at 80 yards, and then it auto adjusts the crosshair to the center point mm -hmm. for you to take your shot. So active crosshair technology. So you go, whoop, that's at 80 yards. And the scope, literally, the crosshair will do whatever it needs to do to put you right in the middle of the shot. However, this works at all ranges. So you can use it for all sorts of uh, guns. However, this also has like a close acquisition system, which works off the focus wheel at the side so that if you're doing ratting at like 15, 20 yards and you're not going to be going, oh, quick, 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 you know your distance, you can turn the focus wheel to the preset level and it will also adjust that crosshair. So kind of like first focal plane, but not, yeah, yeah, but sort kind of. of. It's fixed focus, yeah. But I can tell you that in there, there is an electronic crosshair, which apparently you can design yourself. It's got anti-cant in there. It's got range information on there, obviously, that pulls through from here. This is this is quite clever. It's very clever. It is. So the app, you can change, yeah, as you said, change the crosshairs. You can design your own crosshair. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a sort of family. Uh, there's a Bluetooth module in there. So okay. you can pair that, like you said, 
There's also going to be a range finder that you mount on the side, so right. you just point at it basically, um, and also a set of binoculars hopefully with a range finder in as well. Okay. So you could almost have someone spotting for you. Yeah. And you just point at whatever it is they've zapped with the, the range finder, uh, put the crosshairs dead on. And That's interesting. So someone can spot mm -hmm. and give you the range and then you literally move and shoot. Yep. That one's uh, a seven times magnification. Yeah. You need a number of different magnifications as well. And the eye relief, what do you reckon? 35 to 40 mil, obviously that's not decided yet. So it should go on to centre fire. Okay. Won't just be, obviously a lot of these are zero eye relief, PCP yeah. only. We've got some of the five times is slightly longer, so sort of rim fire, yeah. some of the smaller centre fire calibers. We're also looking at longer eye relief for the standard prismatic as well. But that's really the exciting. Uh, that is, I've got to say, product. yeah. yeah uh, the ability to have that reticu reticule adjust for you to your range, there's no more holdover, really. No more, it's gone. Yep. No more maths. Maths, we don't do maths. <laughs> okay, do we know price? So we're hoping it for it to be between six to eight hundred pounds retail. That's not bad. That's I think not it's bad. very good person. I, I, I mean, when I say not bad, I'm like, yeah, that is, that is, yeah that is, I'd have one. And it, I, because I've looked through it, you haven't yet, but I've looked through it and, and the clarity on it. It's just, it's just fantastic. And that reticule, literally, as I tip it, again, sorry, you can't see it, but there is a guide in there that is telling me exactly what I'm doing on that screen. And you reckon you can design your own reticule? Absolutely. Pretty much. There's going to be some limitations on that. I mean, let's say, yeah, you're not going to be able to, you know, freehand it, I wouldn't have thought, but we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Right. Okay. Well, I, I'm... I'm you. Someone went bang bang. <laughs> I'm sold. And it runs on a AAA battery. AAA battery, so that will last for about 60 hours. So easy swap, no charging, no messing. And I'm looking at it here just, and it's a prototype, so I can't take it apart too much. But I'm guessing that just because of that size there, it just slots in there. So that's really, really exciting. And when? Any idea? This year, definitely. Hopefully okay. within a small number of months. Right. I think we're going to hold you to that, aren't we? I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to be, uh, and as with all the immersive range, because the immersive range is so good, will it come with its mounts and things like that, do you think? I or, would have thought so, yes. Obviously, yeah. all the final details have got to be signed off and what have you. You know, we've got to bring it in at a price point. But sure. more than likely, it will come with things like mounts. Yeah. No, that is, I've got to say, guys, that's, 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 everyone's going to be clambering for that. Everyone's going to be clamoring for it. Superb, very excited. Thank you very much. No problem. Brilliant. Immersive optics are also increasing the eye relief on several of their scopes. And what we're seeing here today is that the smaller scope is going to be a 35 mil eye relief. And this large one here is going to be an 80 mil eye relief. And believe it or not, the back end is actually where you look through, which is the big part and it's super clear. Also, they're going to be bringing out this range of lens caps for the immersive line. So you can literally snap these up and down because they go up and down in stages, which saves you pulling the rubber ones on and off. And the good thing is, is that is real glass, real tinted glass as opposed to plastic. And they'll be coming out in the next couple of months. How's it going everyone? So we're here at the uh, Great British Shooting Show and I'm here to introduce the new item. Well, it's not introducing, it's actually it's been out for a few months now, but it's the hot suppressor, the fat boy. So the cool thing about this is that it has interchangeable air strippers from 177 all the way up to 25 and 30 caliber. And the main core, the fat boy right here, it has threads in the front that, that way you can screw in the air stripper. There you go, just a sample. 
So one of the main questions is, is this Fat Boy supposed to replace like the bigger, the larger suppressors like the Ronin, the Emperor, and, and all that? And the answer is no. I mean, air, air gun suppression is all about volume. And you know, with this being short, four inches, four and a quarter inches, it's not supposed to suppress the largest of, of the air guns, you know? So that's why we came out with the ex extender. This is an actual three inch extender. It's hollow inside, but again, with the air gun, it's all about volume. So we put a lot more volume in it. You remove the rear cap of the Fat Boy, and you put on the extender. So now if you want to compare this with, with the Donifel Ronin, yes, this is actually quieter than the, the Ronin due to the, the actually larger volume. And then we also just came out with the, the muzzle brake. We, like, we call it the muzzle brake, but it's actually an air stripper. It, it, it further strips the air away from the pellet to improve the accuracy. So in order to plug this in, you remove the air stripper, unscrew that, and then select the caliber that you prefer or that you're shooting. And in this case, it's the 177.22. Just screw in the front. Then you just screw that in. So now you have a really awesome looking suppressor that I put together. H&N stand. Uh, it's been super busy here. I meet you. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, you've got some exciting things that you've been working with people with, and yeah. uh, uh, so I'm just here as the glamour bit to introduce it. But you've got the information. So, what has H&N come up with? What have you got? Uh, one week ago, we launched a brand new product. Mm -hmm. um, it's a heavy slug. Right. So. In the past, we made uh, slugs in 22, yep. up to the weight of uh, 36 grain. No, sorry, uh, 30 grain. Yep. And uh, now we introduce a new line from 34, all the way up to 40 grain. So you've got a 40 grain slug. We have now 40 grain slugs. Okay. You develop that with who? Are we allowed to say anything about that? Right. Yes, it's, it's an open secret. Okay. <laughs> it's an open secret that we developed it with uh, Air Hunter Kert. Yeah, yeah. I hope I pronounced it correctly. We just call him Darling. <laughs> Hello, Darling. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, well, he, he brought, uh, we, we're working with him like for, for six months now. Okay. And, uh, and he's, he, we went over to H&M and we had a very interesting week with him, talking yep. a lot about new ideas and he brought up the idea of a heavy slug, yes, and a new hollow point design. Okay, and I think that is the most exciting thing about that, because yeah. you know, in the past, our slugs were accurate. Yes, they are very accurate, but yeah. the hollow point design is not really good to, to for expansion. So mm -hmm. we need to change something, and he has a very good idea. Uh, yeah. So we implemented that. Here we are. Here we are, and we'll, we'll put some images over, over the top as we talk. You can clearly see there is a difference between the, the lighter weight 22 and the heavyweight 22. Yeah. That you can see on the top. I don't know whether you call it like a, a chamfered or a two two stage design. There's yeah, there's, there's clearly fun. something different about it. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. basically you have you have got uh, two two stages. You can yeah. call it's one like it's going like this and like that. Okay. Right. So. So obviously they're very exciting. I know you hunters out there and stuff like that like you know that extra weight. And we've been seeing Gerard shoot with them for a very long time. You know, all this extra weight, extra weight. So there we go. So H and N have done it. Now the thing we do, we've just got to cover about is the whole magazine thing, mm -hmm. because obviously we don't want to shy away from that too much. But it is something to think about. Yeah, definitely. So at the moment, you're saying with the 40 grains, they they will not work in the standard magazines. Okay. So you have to single load them. Okay. That's for sure. So. The way around it, and I'll tell you guys out there, because we do get asked, is that they are longer. And I think that's what it is. is you, to get all that weight in that pellet, you can't go too wide because it won't fit in the barrel, so you have to go longer. And there's only a certain amount of depth on certain magazines, isn't there? So there may be some really deep magazines out there that they might work in, we don't know. But we're talking about predominantly the mass-produced guns uh, that have the magazines. There are third-party covers, I believe, and there's third-party magazines that get round it. Yeah. So if you're looking at doing it magazine-fed, maybe do yourself a little bit of research. So I think H&N is just trying to be clear 
the being up front, 40 grain, single shot, if you want to do anything slightly different than maybe look at either a third party magazine mm -hmm. or a cover. Yeah. And if the manufacturers are listening, which I know you are, uh, sort it out. Okay, it's quite it's quite easy. Sort it out. Okay, this is where we're going. Let's sort those magazines out. So there we go. Yeah. And you have got we will cover it. You had the 15 and the 18 Barracudas that did come out a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. We, we launched the Barracuda 18, I think, one year ago, and yeah. the 15 half a year ago. Okay. And they are also both 22. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, they are, especially the Barracuda 15, is, um, is suitable for 12 foot bump life. So yeah. for the yeah. UK market, should be an interesting product. Absolutely. And that's good because they are actually already out. They're out and about those ones. But the slugs, the 40 grain slugs, we got a little weight, yeah. little weight, little yeah, weight. Yeah, we, 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 we introduced them to our uh, customers, the dealers, wholesalers, importers, also yeah. one week ago. So mm -hmm. we already got first orders. Yeah. Um, we produced the 218 versions. We will start to produce the 217 versions probably next week. Okay. And then we have got everything together and we can start with shipments. Okay. So, Let's say for the UK, it's probably six weeks until they are right. in the shops. Okay. Uh, the USA, that will take longer because of, of obviously... It's to go on this boat thing. Yeah. yeah, and it's very difficult to get a hold of a ship right now and, and it's yeah. space on a ship. So um, that will take more, like, okay. I would say, eight to ten weeks. Okay. But the good news is they're coming and the main man is telling you they're coming, which is the main thing. There we go. Fantastic. Brilliant. I think that's the news. <laughs> yeah. Superb. Brilliant. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll see more of you and Iowa and the industry re-gets going. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We have so yeah. many other ideas. You know, the British Shooting Show is very good to get new ideas. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, that's it's a continuous show, show so we can talk to yeah. the end users, what we usually don't do. So, collecting information. Yeah, that's it. So the customers have been in, they're telling you what they want to see, what they want. Yep. And then you can go away and see what you can do. Actually, the, the idea to make slugs at all was something we took from the 2019 British Unique Show. Uh -huh. We had so many requests for slugs. Yes. And we flow home. My CEO was with me. Yeah. We say, we need to do that. We need to do that. So, so you did. There you go. Thank you. And that's it. Fantastic. Right. Lovely to see you. And Thank we you. might see you in a couple of weeks' time. Thank you. Thank you. It has been about six and a half years since I was last in the UK. Last time I was here, I did all the normal, you know, English things. I, I got caught in the rain. I did a night vision rabbit hunt. I shot a few gray squirrels and, and cooked them in a pot in the woods. Uh, I, I fell into a, a hole of cow poo at a, at a farm and uh, lost my boots. You know, all the, all the, all the good stuff. Um, but I must say, it's really, really good to be back here after all these years uh, and, uh, and, and to attend the, the Great British Shooting Show, which I've been hearing about for, for quite a while. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think just, just being here in person and connecting with, with the end users, you know, being at a public show, you get to speak to customers, not just retailers and, and, and uh, distributors and, and manufacturers, but actually to the people who use the products. And uh, I'm here at the Sportsman Gun Center booth uh, with Element Optics. My friends and colleagues Shane Keller from the US and, and Henrik from Sweden have come together so it's been nice to kind of have the whole group together and, and to be able to show our, our, our products to the end users. The response has been fantastic. One of the things that I'm I think particularly proud of when it comes to Element Optics is you know we've only been around since uh, we only launched early 2020. I mean this is one of the first trade shows that we're actually able to go to because of COVID restrictions and already this year we were nominated for an award here in the UK uh, for the top rifle scope under a thousand pounds. One of only five scopes to be nominated for that award and um, that was the 6 to 24 by 50 second focal plane helix. So I mean it's, it's a real it's a real uh, it's a real honor to know that something that you know that as a company that's only been around for such a short amount of time that we've already made so much inroads into a, a market which is already quite a challenge to get into and um, so we're really happy about that and one of the things that I've, I've really appreciated is speaking to people who have 
not only bought the scopes, but who are, who are interested or looking at scopes. And to hear the, the sort of uh, features that, that people from different areas need. So, you know, for example, the US market, we've realized needs totally different features to, to, to guys over here. Um, when we did some of our market research for the, for the Helix, for example, we asked, you know, how many guys need illuminated reticles versus don't need it. And most of the guys we spoke to said, ah, illuminated reticles, it's nice to have, but I'd probably never use it. Whereas here in the UK, where the sun doesn't shine much and a lot of the hunting is done in sort of uh, dawn and dusk and light conditions are not that great, stuff like light transmission, um, reticle illumination, uh, objective lens size, things like that are a little bit more important. So, yeah, I think, I think the whole experience of, 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 of being here and, and connecting with, with end users who can give all this valuable feedback has been fantastic and uh, it's been you know, great for, for, for Element Optics and, and great for myself to obviously connect with some of the, the viewers of my, my own YouTube channel as well. Um, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit blown away by how many, how many people have, have watched my stuff and, uh, and yeah, just great to speak to people firsthand. So I'll definitely be back next year. Um, but as far as the whole Element Optics thing has gone and, and being back in the UK, it's been fantastic. And uh, yeah, definitely a, a few days to remember. We need to we need to order ourselves in in uh, in, no hair amount of hair. You no, need okay. to be on that side. Shane in the middle. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, no, it's just it's just recording. Yeah, I need to. It's just recording. If you need me to donate some hair to you, I'm This is why I don't say anything because I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either. It's just B-roll. It's just B-roll. There we go. But it's a nice. It's a nice. Guys. Oh. <laughs> Here we are then. I'm. 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 Where, where, where am I? Where, where? Yes. Giles doesn't know where he is. Everybody. Um, he's at the stand of Air Gunner, Air Gun World, and the wonderful sporting shooter and rifle shooter. Right. Right. So. Okay. There we go. You can use this as a sort of a homing base for when you get lost. You can come back to here. All right. So the question we, the question I really have to ask really is the fact that I get slightly confused with where I am. Mm -hmm. Is, why does your hat have your name printed across the front of it? Is that is that just for you? So you know who you are when you look in the mirror? Well, no, no, you see, the reason, <laughs> reason it has that is because I am already somebody. Okay. Therefore, you won't be having a hat with a name on it for quite some years to come, will you? No. You won't. This, no, this Let's is, be honest. This is very, very true. You won't. But never yeah. mind. I mean, you keep battering your little head against the wall of wit and, and Mickey Takery and... You've not learned a lesson at all, have you? Remember no, the last time we did this at the Air Arms Do? You said, if this were a boxing match, they'd have stopped it in round two. You said, to save well, me from further, further punishment. <laughs> that's it. I thought the last time we got together, we spoke about your footwear, which we're not going to do today well, either. Well, actually, look, I'm still quite trendy on the footwear. Look, I'm, I'm, really? I'm all reboxed up, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, right. you wouldn't know, would you? Are you, a, are, you, are you what we would call an influencer for I'm, I am I'm an influencer yes <laughs> I've been influenced quite a lot and uh, I am an influencer yeah yeah I mean people do hang on my every grunt really? you know yeah they're like what you Joel I've seen people pointing at you and saying is it they've said is that it but then you had your mask on didn't you with your ears sticking forward yeah well it's we are trying to do a little bit of anti-covid aren't we but we'll yeah, see. Know, anyway yeah. Go on, we've survived. We've, yeah, here. we've survived. We're here. So, what have you been up to now? I, uh, legend has it that you've been you've been putting yourself about a bit on camera. I have answered my natural calling because, as you know, I'm a bit of a lovey, bit of a performer. As really? You know. Yeah, and I've sold my soul to the to the um, thermal devil. I've, I've late in life I discovered discovered thermal imaging big time. Right. And I've gone from somebody who used to uphold the. Um, traditional stalking and you should you know you don't need any more advantages than the ones we have already to a complete and utter thermal tart now okay who won't go out not even socially without a thermal are we, are we talking about like on a friday night down the Listen, edgeware if I, road you if i go to a friend's new house yeah. i will take my thermal spotter in case they might have a bit of rat activity okay or they might be losing too much heat through their through their skylights yeah. or something okay so I, i'm now a thermal spotter is my best friend and constant companion. As a matter of fact, I do feel a bit naked without a thermal spotter in my pocket. Now, no, 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 don't, don't worry, Giles. Um, let's just see what I've got in my pocket. You're going to put people off, Terry, no, with the thought of you being naked. What I've got in my pocket is my catapult yep. and a mask. 
Really? And that's kind of been, that and the thermal spot has been my essential. That's your thing. It's got okay. me through the last few years, yeah. So, I mean, okay, I wasn't mm. going there with that. I was going to talk more about the fact that you, you appear to have been on the planet YouTube. Yeah, you've yeah, we've doing, um, You've been doing well, stuff. Well, it's all about this. It's all about this. Shooting okay. in Country TV. Um, we've been going out with my colleague Dave Barham and we've been using thermals and Envy to uh, shoot rats, feral pigeons, rabbits. And during the course of it and the training up to it, I've become indoctrinated into the thermal family. Okay. And I am a thermal evangelist now. I am. I go, I go abroad everywhere now and preach the thermal gospel really to everyone do you find that like your invitations to dinner parties are dwindling terry well t to be honest <laughs> i'm not a dinner party type of guy giles um i mean obviously you won't say the same but um you're you're a social butterfly aren't you uh, albeit you know one of those russian it, cargo plane type social butterfly yeah but no i i i would much rather be out with me thermal spotter okay. scoping things out with okay. my thermal spotter. Yeah. Mainly on my permissions and fishing lakes and stuff. But, okay. Yeah. Right. So uh, Terry's into his thermal activity. Yes, I certainly am. And you're on. You're on YouTube. Yep. You keep appearing on my Facebook feed. Well, I've got five thousand close personal friends on Facebook, and tragically, I don't think I'm allowed anymore. But um, do, do, do you know every single one of them? Everyone. Personally? Everyone sends me a Christmas card and a birthday card. And they all come around my house three times a year. Your it gets a bit your, crowded. Gets a bit crowded. Your in the postal cave. bill must be huge. It's huge. It's huge. But uh, I love Facebook. Facebook's brilliant. All the nonsense I get up to, I when well, I'm fishing, shooting, whatever I'm doing, I just get an idea and I put it 200 words on paper, and people either laugh at it or take the mick out of me or or say they do it as well. And it's just great means of communication. Facebook is. Yeah. It is if you use it properly. It can also be the very devil, but um, yeah. mine isn't. Because if anybody starts, I don't have swearing on mine. I won't have people being horrible to each other. I don't yeah. do anything nasty or negative. If they want to do that, a, they can go and buy the Daily Mail for that. I don't need it. Yeah, that. the Daily Mail is a good source of that. I'd like to point out everyone, if you actually want to find anyone who can talk just as much as me. But make sense though. There's the thing. Yeah. Make sense and entertain. As well, it's not about the volume harsh words, and production. Mr. It's about harsh the quality. Words. Harsh words. Yeah. Never yeah. mind the quantity. Uh, yeah. Feel the warmth. Yeah, That's fair me. enough. Right. So anyway, if you want, if you want to waste five, five minutes, oh, they're going to talk over the top of us now. Do they know who we are, Giles? Because I've forgotten now. Well, it's on your app. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> See, it has a use. Right. So we're just at the we're just at the speech finish, and then we'll close up. Would you like yeah. to do this in mine, the medium of mine, perhaps? If, you, if you'd like to humour yourself on, I don't know, what was it, Daily, Weekly, whatever it is, and listen to someone that talks just as much as me, there's always Mr. Doe, who can be found in, very welcome. in, in many, many social You'd media locations welcome. with his thermal spotter. With my thermal spotter to the fore. But I'd also do loads of traditional stuff. If you get in touch with me at the mag, get, get in touch with me on Facebook, if I can help you, I will. I mean, I, I like to think, Giles as a sort of a care in the community project I have. And I hope I've had a beneficial effect on him. He's already thanking himself. Five minutes skit. How, how are we going to edit this one? <laughs> Mr. Doe, good to see you, sir. And you, mate. Uh, look after yourself. Oh, hello. What's... Okay. I'm on the BSA stand. Uh, Nice and busy, everyone's looking at the range of uh, ever popular rifles here. And this is one that I've made a beeline to come and have a look for. This is the Ultra CLX. Now, this is the commemorative edition because this is 160 years commemorative for BSA. They're super proud of this rifle and I gotta say, I think it's a beauty. Now, let's just be clear. This one, and I'm gonna be the bearer of bad tidings, is sold out. You can't get any more of this commemorative edition. There is the standard edition, which has got the bolt at the back rather than the side lever. They're still available. But what is new about this CLX? Well, going from this end, you've obviously got BSA's moderator. You've got the tried and tested uh, cold hammer forged barrel, which is there. But that's all attached to this new monoblock system. And this is a single piece that BSA now whittle their magic with and they turn out the CLX block. 
And there's a few new things on this block. You've got things like there's a thumb up safety at the back, which has got a little switch there, which is very, very nice. You've got, if I flip it over, and remember, the gun is obviously safe, but as I flip it over, you can see that there's a bigger space there because there's a new magazine, which is a 12-shot magazine, um, and that new magazine uh, goes in the side. There's an anti-double load system on the rifle. Let's be clear, anti-double load is, it's anti-double load, but I'm sure someone will manage to get around that. It does happen, but it's anti-double load. So you've got, you've got that there, a self-regulating valve, which is something that BSA uses in a lot of their rifles. Beautiful stock, Minelli stock. You've got fully adjustable trigger underneath. There's so many points of adjustment under there, I can't tell you. Nice uh, clear gauge on the front, and you've obviously got a fill port just there. And of course on here, you've got that side lever system, which is lovely spring-loaded, and something which I've spotted, which I didn't even know, the little finger part there spins, which is actually, which actually makes it even quicker. Look at that, how quick you can do that, so it's quite good. So it is a real nice looking bit of kit and very well thought out of. And what else do I see? Well, I see sling studs already in, so you haven't got to get your drill out to get into that stock. Lovely gray finish. It, do you know what? That really is, that really is super nice. And, and yeah, that, yeah, shot count, between 60 and 70, depending on your calibre. Um, that's in sub 12, no idea what FAC is, uh, but there we go. That's the Ultra CLX commemorative edition. Um, yeah, very nice. Something else that BSA have told me is that they did only make 160 of these and they sold out in seconds. They've said that they could have made a lot more, but then it really you know, wouldn't be something which is quite such an investment. So probably if you can get your fingers on one of these and lock it away and keep it all nice and clean and shiny, um, it might be worth a few pennies in a few years' time. On the BSA stand, they have lots of interesting things uh, from the past. Lots of guns from history gone by. However, I do feel that this is probably slight overkill for pigeons. Look at these, these are dreamy. What, what are they? Aren't they? Well, this is from FX Air Guns. This is actually called the Dreamlight. And we have the field target version. Then you have the bottle, and then you have the laminate, and then you have the classic wallet and synthetic. And is that it? No, what? no, no, no. <laughs> Let me show you. Thank you, sir. Is that how you get a gun? Yeah, try it. I like it. Right. So, so Yolanda, I've obviously got the classic, the classic one. Yeah. So, what have you got? Well, this one actually comes with a chassis. So the difference is pretty obvious, right? But there's it looks a very different. Very. <laughs> so let me show you. This one actually comes with a cheek riser, which yours doesn't. Mm -hmm. This one comes with a buttstock, which sort of, sort of, kind this of. This comes yeah. with a bag rider. Not really. No. This one actually folds in half. That's cool. Fits anywhere, right? And then also it comes with a rail attached. So you turn from classic to completely tactical. So Yolanda, that's a lot of differences. Um, is, is the engine in this one the same as that one then? Absolutely. So the beautiful part about this is you could go from classic to tactical. The engine is still the same, so it's still the fabulous Dreamline that we know, but just two different uh, looks. Ah, okay. Yeah, now I see. The best part is, I mean, I showed it to you already, but it folds, right? Yeah, that, that is cool. Yeah. It is. So you store it away in your closet, and it's compact, right? It's a little more compact. What you could use the extra space for, shh, don't tell anyone but you could actually store more shoes or handbags. You do know, Yolanda, that there's a mole just around the corner, don't you? Is there? Yeah. That's an awesome idea. <laughs> Shall we go? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I could do it, right? Yeah. <gasps> Come on. Come on then. Let's go. Let's go. 
Now, Simba, are you hiding a secret? Because this is a very big space just here. And I wonder if you're here because someone else isn't. What, what's that? Have a guess in the comments below. Okay, perhaps people should do that. Okay, I'm Francisco. This is the Leshi 2, and I want to make a short demonstration of the filters and how it works. Here you have the filling port, here you have a gauge, here you have an externally adjustable regulator. If you want, you can install here a, a second gauge to read the reg regulated pressure. It is a self-indexing gun. In, other, in some other countries, it's, it's a semi-auto, semi -auto, but in, in the UK, it's called self-indexing because the pellets are being shot straight from the magazine. It's an eight-shot magazine. You can easily take it out and put the next one. You can also load it straight. You can fold it easily. This is also an interesting filter. You can take it apart. This is a multi-caliber gun and a modular gun. You can choose between five different calibers, 177, 20, 22, 25, and 30. This is the 250 millimeters barrel in 177. The barrel starts here and goes to here. This is a suppressed gun. Here is a, here is a suppressor, it's a reflex one, so it's using the whole volume of the tube. The safety can be engaged from both sides. The forward plug, the, the valve, it is really different to the valves we are used to in the air gun industry. It is a two-stage valve, it is patented, and it makes the gun very efficient and very consistent. You can carry it like this or like this. If you practice a few minutes, you can... I will show it again. Yes, look at this, it's a Micarta grip. With these four Allen keys, you can take it all apart and change the, any O-ring you may need to change. You have a leaking issue. It is designed in Russia. We are producing them in Europe to make it 100% legal in markets where, you know, Russian goods are not uh, completely allowed. Soon, uh, we will release a new website for the UK market and there we will, we will upload information about who will be the dealers who will offer this locally in the UK. You can replace this tube for a carbon fiber bottle to increase the shot count. I will show you now. This can be replaced by this one. So now we have uh, twice, you can double the shot count with this installed. And the weight is almost the same because we are replacing this aluminum tube. Actually, it's not just aluminum. It's made with D16T, which is uh, as good as many other alloys with titanium, made with titanium. We have, we have a Picatinny 30 MOA rail for long range shooting, 350. Now, this is, you can swap, by the way, you can swap the, the grips for any color of your wish. It's Air 15 friendly. This is the 451 in inches, almost 18 inches. The valve starts here and to here. And this is a, it's a suppressor. I'm going to interrupt. Yes, that. sure. I'm going to interrupt Francisco because obviously I'm stood behind the camera watching okay. him do all this. Now, listen, right, this is, this, is, this is bonkers. And some other people need to pay attention to this, right? Swap that cylinder with that again. Just, okay. do, just do it again. Right, and do that. Okay. Okay, give me that, I'll put that on. Right, now, listen, I, I'm completely out of shot and I'm... I, li, these guys have been stood here all weekend going click, 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 click. And it works every time, every single time. That is, I'm stood behind the camera and I'm looking at it and I'm going, no, that just works. I, that's works. really good because it's just... It's so sturdy, you think to yourself, well, you've got that bracket at the back and you think, well, no, a little bit of wear, a little bit of movement, but no, no every time, isn't it? It's been going all weekend. Yes, and one, one more thing I want to show you. Look how 
how solid it is. You cannot yes. realize that there are two parts yes. here. It's like absolutely solid. And as I'm watching Francisco do the filming, and he's picking up, and his team are handing him the guns, and he's just going, I want to clip that bit on. So he just clips that bit on. It's not undo the screw or mess it. It's just clip that bit on. It yes. Is, it is really good. <laughs> and, to, and to change the barrel is also quite fast. The pro okay. procedure is you release these four screws. Yeah. You take the barrel out. Yeah. Zoom, Stop the next one. You want to change the caliber, for example, or the yeah. barrel, barrel length. If you need to change the barrel length, you would like also. You will need to take off the suppressor sure. with these two screws. Yeah. Go, go away, apart, and that's it. Very easy to. I think, I think. I think it's the fact that it's not. I'm stood here with bits of it in my hand, and the thing is, is that at any point, Francisco can just clip them together, and I think that is the bit that is really, really interesting because everyone has said for a long time we're going to do a rifle that we can clip and take bits together and it does just work and I've been watching them do it all weekend so that's it, I just wanted to say it's amazing how you just keep clipping the bits together Yeah. I've kind of stolen this video, I do apologise No, I'm, I'm glad you came because <laughs> I'm not used to cameras and <laughs> Well you've done very, very well so One of listen, the type So listen, to finish off I've got to learn, because I've never you're going to say to me you never, so I've got to clip this together, so show me yes, how to do Yes, I will that. teach you, yes You should grab it like this Okay. And with your thumb, you push it back. Push it back. Yes. And then you should match the two. Okay. Yes, to the knee. You see? Okay. Perfect. And that's it. Wow. It's, it's, ah. was, was his first time, by the way. But that is genuinely my first time. Yes. And I apologise that we're in the wrong camera position. But um, some people may need a bit of, a bit of practice, okay? Because it's uh, you should match the two pins. Actually, okay. actually, it's not. If you if you and uh, take it out, yes, the same and, and down. Exactly. And that's it. This is another technique. You don't need to pull this. You can push it with this. Okay, so you can even do like a quick version. Yes. Where you, uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, okay. I'm, so, right. I'm, so, I'm surprised how, how fast you I'm, learn. I'm, I'm sold. <laughs> I'm sold. I'll have one. Before we disappear. Yes. Well, you've, you've got this new filling system. New filling system. Yes. I want to show you this. It is, it is called Easy. We believe it is the first valve which can be opened by a finger with 300 bar pressure. Right. And it has a different advantages. For example, you're not wasting the, the air that is inside the hose. Okay. And you can fill your gun very fast. I will show you, I will make a demonstration. With this one. Okay. You just need to plug it and just press. <laughs> Wait. And when you release the lever, this is just okay. Degassing the air that is between the probe and, and the. So that that holds all the pressure back from the bottle. Mm -hmm. There's no loss from the hose, and it's literally it's a squirt and go sort of thing. Yes, that's it. What what do you call it? Has it? It's called easy. Easy. So Edgun easy fill. Edgun easy fill. And soon we'll have a, a similar one. Yeah. Which will be attached directly on a maybe half liter bottle. So you right. you take the bottle out of the uh, your backpack or wherever yeah. you plug it, psh, release it. That's release it. it. Okay. Will, be, will be something like this one, but more compact, and with a filling port to fill the bottle. Okay. In Edgan we are always pushing innovation, and this is this is one of the That's great it. ideas. He's, he's actually filling the gun just by yes. squeezing it. You can see. Gauge is going up. Yeah. And we can regulate in this case the yeah. the flow with a screw that is in, inside this uh, foster female. Okay, right. You can also use it, it's universal, you can use it with any air gun, no need yeah. to be an air gun. This is a foster female. You can try it. So, so literally, hang on, so because we've got one off the off the hose here. Yes. So this is this is the unit, I'll take some close-up photos of it for you in a minute. So you put that bit onto your hose, the hose doesn't come with it, you just put that bit onto the hose. And then you literally squeeze like that, and it, and it, it lets the air through. You've got to put your own, fitting choice on the end, haven't you? Um, but that's it, it literally, so no more big loss of air when you undo your bleed valve at the end. And, and less noisy. When less you're, noisy. When you're kind, you don't want to Yeah. Well, you can do it slowly, but... Okay, right. Anyhow. That is, I'm gonna... And there's no, that's very clever, isn't it? Yeah. That is very good. Okay, we like that, we like that. And those are out, can you get those now? 
not it's very soon in the UK. Yes. Okay. So now you can buy it from Europe. We have a warehouse there. We can ship it with DHL. It's, okay. It's a simple device. No problem. But it, but but that will be available from you guys in the U, in the UK. In the UK will point. be also yeah, available. That's, that's going to be a popular little device. That is. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. Good. I'm having a sit down, and I've got to be honest, it's a lot of leg work. <laughs> this is Andy. Now, Andy does AM Bushcraft, South Wales. That's the one. That's the one. That's yeah, the one. Now, I, cause I, I mean, with a surname like Barry, I should know some things about Wales, shouldn't yes. I? So, um, so do go check him out on YouTube. Fantastic content, lots of hunting and stuff like that. We're going to shake your hand and say, How are you doing? Good to see you. All right, you. thank you very much, Charles. Are you well? Are you good? Yes, enjoying today. Yeah. Very much, yeah. Yeah. Really enjoying the show. Seen anything you like the look of? I've just picked up a new gun, but okay. that's not going to be on to the channel till two weeks. So okay. that'll be uh, revealed what I've just bought. So we, we, we're not allowed to tell you now. No. Secret. Secret. Be quiet. Okay, right. We, um, didn't, we didn't ask that, did we? No. No, okay. So that's going to be done. Um, I've yeah. got plenty of footage coming out now of ratting and squirrel shooting and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just nice to be able to get out and do a bit of shooting. And first of all, I want to say thank you for allowing me on Airgun 101. No, thank you for being on. It's very I good. I really appreciate this. It's a really good platform to have my content shared and everybody on there is lovely. Really you, nice. Your stuff is fantastic. And, and, and I mean, you've passed. 10,000 plus subscribers, haven't you? I think 13 now. 13. You're rocketing away. I'm getting yeah. there. It's, it's, yeah. it's good. Considering I've been a bit slow on the content at the moment, but uh, there's plenty in the pipeline now. A couple yeah. of videos to come out, and uh, they should be out pretty soon. I've got another gun on the way as well. I can't say anything about that. Okay. So, um, and a load of hunting and, and the bushcraft camping stuff. Okay. And um, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos um, to promote men's mental health. Good man. Now, it's something, i got to say, it's something that I don't normally cover, obviously, because we're men, aren't we? Yes. And that sort of stuff. Big man. Big man, big strong man. However, I first saw Andy's video, you were on a beach. Yeah. Now, was that was that South West Wales? South Wales. Wales. So, South yeah. Wales. And you took out, and I, it, it makes me tingle when I say this, when you took out a camping stove, yeah. and there were no guns in it whatsoever, and I'll put a link to the video in the description because I'll find it. It's still up, is it? You've yeah, still yeah, got yeah. it up. Yeah. And basically, you took a camping stove out, yeah. lit some sticks, had a cup of tea, and just talked to the camera and yeah. put the world right. And I got to say, for those of you that sometimes get a little bit of a mental block, because we all get it, don't yeah, we? Everybody does. Not everything's easy in everyday life. That was, I like that. It, no guns, and I'm, so I'm sorry if you're like, well, what shoots? No, there wasn't. No. Nope. It was just a chat, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and it was very good. It's great, you know, we all love going out with the guns. We all love doing a bit of shooting, whether it be target or hunting. Yeah. But sometimes it's nice to leave everything at home and go out and just sit. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're outdoors and it's just great for men's mental health or not. I'm a massive candidate for it because I suffer it with myself. Okay. So I like to promote it and show you don't need to be this hidden creature, talk about it, it does help. It is, I gotta be honest, you do camera work, I yep. do camera work, there's loads, of, you watch all the YouTubers, it's, we have to smile, don't we? Yeah. Every, camera has to be a smile, it's that smile, the world is perfect. Sometimes, it's just not. the, old, the it. old engine up there isn't always 100% happy. Yeah. So, it is, you know, which <coughs> is one reason why air gunning is such a great sport, it's, it's a good thing for, you know, Clearing your head, get a bit of time out, and, and whatever. So. Some downtime, some new time, and it, it, it does make a massive difference. Yeah. It really does. But yeah, it's uh, just one of them things that we have to deal with, and shooting and the outdoors definitely helps. Yeah, yeah, fabulous. And you've got some new permissions. I think I've seen you've got new permissions oh, and stuff. Yeah, we've. It's a bit of a, a bit of a trek for me. It's a two-hour drive, but the drive is worth it. Okay. It's worth it. It's covered in like rats. Um, we've got squirrel permissions now, we've got crow shooting, crop protection, yeah. everything is all like coming on really well. Um, we got that through word of mouth for what I do with my other channels. Okay. Farmers talk to farmers and we got invited down and they're more than happy with what I do. And um, they just give us these permissions which I'm taking full Fantastic. advantage of. Fantastic. And you also, you're published in Ergen World? Ergen World. All right. Three times now. Okay. Yeah. So, 
hopefully I'll be doing another article pretty soon. Yeah. Um, using the Walther ring. Okay. With it, that'll be a hunting one and a review video for YouTube and 101. Lovely, fantastic. So, listen, go check him out. I'm going to put a link in the description box below. Fabulous content. It's not every week, no. but when it comes out, it's it's worth watching. It's it literally tells you as it is, and it's 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 superb and worth watching. I really appreciate it. All right, mate. Thank you, Joel. Look after yourself. Thank Take you, care. pal. Take, Take care. care. How's the shooting show going, going guys? How are you getting on? Absolutely fantastic. Really well. Busy yeah? three days. Yep. But looking forward to getting home. <laughs> have we all got tired feet? We have. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're absolutely stacked out. We have. We've been non-stop for three days now. Yeah. Um, popular most two rifles are Wolf Rain and the RM8. Okay. Everybody just wants to have a go at them. Yeah. Um, haven't stopped. Okay. Um, the range we got this year is again a step up from the one we had last year. It gets better and better every year. Yeah. And we've got a really nice challenge out there of a simulated 500 yard shot. And so far, only 16 people have managed it all weekend. Okay. We've only got a few hours to go, so maybe we'll make it to 20. We'll see. I might come back and have a go. Right? <laughs> well, if we get rid of the camera. But I've got to say, you win the best looking range award. Without doubt. Thank you very much. All the lights and everything on there. Okay, how many pallets do you think you fired? Oh, oh my word. I don't know. I hate to think. On my range alone, I know I've got through what, at least 10 tins of 177. I must be about 18 to 22s. Two and okay. that's just me, without right. the other guys that are already here. It's a heck of a lot. It's a heck of a lot. And my, my fingers are sore. Your fingers are sore. <laughs> You're going to have the little grey finger thing. We are, in the indeed. So, and let's just be clear, you guys are all volunteers. We are. Yeah. So your team has given up its entire three or four days to come and either live in a hotel room or drive from home or whatever. We have, whatever. we have, okay. indeed. So we have to tip our hats to you really and say thank you very much. I know I'm not on camera, but we have to do that because obviously these people, you know, the public wouldn't get a chance to try yep. if you guys weren't here. So thank you very much. What are you going to do when you get home tonight? Sleep. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not move. <laughs> no, up for work tomorrow morning. Uh, <laughs> yes, actually, we all know that for you. Exactly, yeah. 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 It's a long weekend, but it is fun. We do enjoy it's it. It's definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know. It has been superb. So thank you very much. No, no, more than welcome. And just so everyone knows, can we find you on the internet? You've also got your hat on. Where, where we can. can. We, where can people get more information? Uh, www.umarexboysclub.co.uk. Okay. okay. We've got our own forum, we've got the website. <laughs> There's a mountain of competition guys can enter. It's all free. Targets downloadable free. Print them off yourself at home. Send us your scores. We'll put them up on a leaderboard and you can see how you're doing against the rest of the world. I mean, we are worldwide. Fabulous. Okay. Fabulous. Thank you, guys. Fantastic. Thanks. Good job. While I'm on the ranges, there's uh, someone called Dave Mills. He's over there. And he says to me, you need to have a look at this compressor because it's quite good. And I'm like, okay, now let's be quite clear, it's on a table next to bottles. It does not fill dive bottles. It is a compressor which is direct to gun only. Okay, so don't ask me, can that fill my dive bottle? Because it can't. But what's interesting is it runs off rechargeable like drill batteries. So these are Makita 18 volt batteries and there's other batteries on top of that. I don't know quite where they come from or whether they come with the compressor, I don't know. But there's articles that have been written about it and it is called the GXL3. And look at that, and do you know what? I don't know what that weighs, but I'm stood there picking that up. That's, you, you wanna carry that round. It's not heavy at all. Really simple, we've all seen portable compressors for a long time. And I'm gonna start it up probably as though I shouldn't do but there's a, there's a bleed thing around there, so let's just turn that on. So all we do is you, you turn it on. All right, so that's on. Let's move that out of the way. And you press start. And it's off. And you'd have your gun connected, you know. Um, there's a, there's a, an end cap in there at the moment. And then it cuts off. You can bleed it around the back. Right, there you go. You turn it off. 
Now, obviously there's like a, a shutdown time and a cool down time and stuff like that, which you're going to need to learn about from the instruction manual. But it comes from a company called gilbertdistribution.co.uk. And if you want to know more about it, I suggest that you send them an email, which is info at gilbertdistribution.co.uk. The fact they've just read that out, they may not like that because you might get an awful lot of emails, but info at gilbertdistribution.co.uk. And it's a portable compressor, direct to gun. According to Dave, the runtime on the batteries is about 30 minutes. And according to the article, because I've never tested this before in my life, it says that it will do a 280cc reservoir from 100 bar to 200 bar in just over a minute. And that's from a journalist's point of view. Um, so there you go. The GX L3 compressor from Gilbert Distribution. Ah, you can take that on a picnic. Hi guys, uh, Chris here from Hull Cartridge, the Rare Right distributor. Uh, welcome back to the British Shooting Show 2022. Um, really excited to see you. We've got a, a, a lot of rifles on display. We've got some updated stocks, things to go through. So what I've got here is the HD97K with the new updated stocks. It's got a uh, scallop back end, uh, some nice fish scale checkering. Uh, this is new for sort of 2021, 2022. Obviously we've been uh, in lockdown, so we haven't been out to the show. So we'll give you a quick catch up of what we've got to show you. So again, for the uh, HD99S, Product update, we've got a new scallop style stock like the 97 and a nice checkering on the fore end. These have been out about six months, um, so it's nice design, lovely for shooting off your bag in your back garden. Um, again, another nice little improvement by Vara. So, 57 FTS. Uh, most of you'll notice there's now a thread on the end of the barrel for a moderator. It does come fitted with the thread protector as standard. We've modified the uh, cocking system on the HD57 FTS. So it's a, a bigger diameter cocking system, similar to 9777. Much improved, and again, new style stock with a checkery. HU30S kit, again, updated stock, similar to 99S. It's a nice scallop back end, the checkering, lovely junior package, selling like hotcakes. Um, for the next generation to learn, you know, with a quality trigger like the record trigger unit, really, really exciting little gun. So here we've got a, a left-handed HU100 bullpup, fitted with our new optional extra of the XL silencer. We do two models, the XLK, which is shorter, obviously a little bit louder, and the XL, which is a large one, quietest moderator of our app make, half inch and half threaded, av available to order from your local gun dealer now. So, H398, absolute daddy of a field target, hunting rifle. Everyone's always said, I want the sounds for it. So, we've worked with Varak, and I'll unscrew this off as fast as I can. Maybe we can speed this up, Giles. Optional, a H398 silencer. It's got the same diameter rear end. You'll have seen this on the lovely grey laminate special edition we did. So you can now moderate a HW98. And here's something I'm really proud to show off. The HW35 with a new stock. I know it's been out since God's dog was a puppy. And it's the rifle that started it all. Got loads of guys that wanted a 35E when they were younger. And we see it every show we come to, they're like, oh God, I wanted a Varac 35E, I was desperate to have one. And they order one, it's brilliant. So this is a new style, upgraded stock. Uh, we lost the finger grooves, we've got lovely checkering, down to customer feedback, the people wanted it, Varac have delivered it. So HW35K with the new style stock. HW90, yet another updated stock. Lovely scallop checkering here and here. Famous old gas ram, keeps going on. A stalwart of the Varac range with the new updated stock. Another big update, uh, the HD100 series now comes with a Weaver rail fitted, Weaver bio, uh, a Weaver sort of Picatinny rail fitted. This lovely little biathlon lever, which I know was a popular add on all the way through. Uh, this is the HD100 KT laminate adjustable, so new style stock as well. Again, the scallop back end, slightly slimmed off fore end, and a different cheek piece. The cheek piece goes up and down, the butt pad goes up and down, all adjustable. Um, biathlon lever really does make such a nice difference. Uh, great when you're out hunting or target shooting, just makes it easier to handle. Easy to handle. Uh, all the internals are exactly the same. We've got these fitted. You can still use the um, dovetails if you need to. You don't have to fit the waiver rail. It's just a nice little optional extra. Comes in the box in a little plastic packet. You fit it. Be happy with it.
I'm Stuart from Elite Optical and we're here today with the new Hike Micro Panther thermal scope with a laser rangefinder. So this is the flagship 640 pixel sensor with a 50mm focal length. So that gives you the 2.9 times magnification alongside the super high resolution 640 pixel sensor that's built into this unit. You can also get the 384 sensor which gives you a slightly different specification and a slightly different price point. So just having a look through the unit first up, it's a very compact unit, it mounts nicely, all the controls are very close to you when the, when the gun's in your shoulder and it's easy to use. So from front to back we've got the focus, we've got the 600 meter laser rangefinder and then if we roll this over on this side we've got all of your key controls. Basically only has three buttons, so you've got a power button, that's going to put it into standby or switch to activate the unit. We've got the laser rangefinder button. We've just had a firmware release that changes the way this works. So you can now press either for a spot reading or press to get a continuous reading. And that's displayed inside the screen. So it's really easy to understand how far away your target is. Coming back from that, we've got the jog dial. When you're using the scope normally, that controls your magnification. But you press and hold, activate the menu, really easy to slide up and down, change your, change your settings and get into all of the uh, take control of the scope. In the top, we've got the 18650 battery port. That's the industry standard. You can fill a pocket full of those for a couple of quid. Um, that gives you around six hours of runtime. So you're not going to get caught short out in the field. Really easy to swap those over. Never going to have a problem. Then coming to the back, big viewfinder. What we're seeing is as the thermal technology develops, it's becoming more affordable and the better high resolution units that give you that clear picture, clear identification are falling into more affordable price brackets. So this, as a flagship in the range, is retailing at £3,900. Um, the 384 version, which gives you four times base mag, that's retailing around £1,000 less. So, you know, a really high end, high quality thermal image is now available to you at, at you know, affordable prices. Yeah, so this is one of the flagship models in the range and although it's good value for money for the specification, there's a lot of other models in our range which are more affordable as a first unit to experiment with thermal or to, uh, to you know, to, just to try shooting with thermal or spotting with thermal. So let's go and take a look at those. So this is the Hike Micro Lynx Pro 10mm or the LE10. So this uses a 256 pixel sensor. That's kind of a, a mid-range, so that's giving you quite a lot of detail but it's also built to a budget. So these retail around the 600 pound mark and that gives you all the advantages of a thermal spotter. It gives you a really good level of performance, especially at air gun distances. So within 100 yards, you're gonna be able to identify even small animals with this compact unit. It still has all the features that you get with any other Hike Micro product. So you've got Wi-Fi built in, you can stream to your phone, you can record and control the unit from the app. You can also record pictures and video straight onto the unit if you want to. It's got an internal battery, you get around eight hours runtime, so that's going to cover any shooting trip. And it really allows you to start experimenting with thermal. Um, and then, you know, we still see the trend is to spot with thermal, shoot with night vision. So you use your monocular, you can quickly scan a large area, you know exactly where there's a rabbit or a rat. You can then use your night vision, get that high definition image, really see what it is you're shooting before you start pulling the trigger. So this is the Hike Micro Thunder TE19. So this uses the same sensor that we just looked at in the 10 millimeter monocular. So that's a 256 pixel sensor. So it's a mid-range performance, um, but it gives you enough detail to shoot with. What's unique about the Thunder is that this can be used in three different ways. So at the moment, we've got it mounted on the front of an optical scope. So that can be used without adjusting the point of impact and your zero within your scope. So it can be really quickly removed. We just undo the collar and it's like a camera you clip it off and clip it on so it's really easy to attach you can then carry on shooting with your optical scope normally during daylight clip this on and you get that thermal it transforms your optical scope into a thermal camera or into a thermal scope this unit is also supplied with a different lens system that allows you to use it as a monocular so this is removable this rear lens can be removed you then screw on a magnified lens that then gives you, you can either then mount that on a Picatinny rail to use as a thermal rifle scope, you activate the reticle, or you can just use it as a monocular. So this is a really flexible product that's retailing at just over a thousand pounds. So 
that's going to give you a really accessible entry point into thermal sheeting. And it also gives you three products in one. So you can try it as a front clip on, you can try it as a rifle scope, you can also try it as a monocular, and you'll know which style of thermal sheeting is going to work for you. So yeah, we sell this in, well, there's three different models of this. The entry level retails just over £1,000. You then move up to the £1,800 mark, and the only thing that's changing is the performance of the sensor and the resolution that's available to you. The Thunder's also available in the TQ50, which is the same sensor that we looked at in the Panther, the 640 high resolution sensor. So, and that sits at the top of the price tree at around £3,000. So we offer this in three different ways. You can either buy it purely as a rifle scope, which is supplied with a Picatinny rail. It also comes with the lens that you can use as the monocular. Or we sell it in the clip-on configuration, which comes with this different style lens and the bracket. These are available in three sizes, so you're going to get one that fits your scope. You also get some rubber inserts which stick inside. And once that's clamped on, you want to leave it on the scope so it doesn't move and you're not shifting, you're losing your point of impact. We also sell it in the Ultimate Kit, and that comes with absolutely everything that you need to use it in three different configurations. So it's a really flexible product. You can buy it either as a clip-on or as a scope or to cover everything. And there's also three different sensor specifications that's going to match your budget and the style of shooting that you want to do. Right at the end of the day, Finally, I've seen you a few times actually, so it would be a lie, but Neil, rack and load, mate, how are you doing? I'm all right, thank you, sir. How are you? Oh, if I said exhausted. I know that feeling. We all know that feeling. How's yeah. the feet? Uh, not too bad, it's the legs. Yeah. The feet ain't too bad, it's just the legs. So yeah, the legs are gone. A little bit Absolutely. Now, so. Good show? Yeah, very Enjoyed good. Enjoyed it? Yeah, slightly different for me because I've sort of been with a retailer rather than sort of walking around doing video -y stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's been interesting. Yeah. Really good. Really and good. how's everything going with the channel? Obviously, rack and load, we'll give you a link below and stuff like Thank that. Thank you very much. But how's it all going? You still enjoying yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Really good, really good. Um, yeah, just, uh, just rolling with it. Variety of stuff that keeps coming in. You know, one minute it could be an air gun, next minute shotgun. Yeah. Then a centre fire, then a pistol. So yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, you do, you do, for those of you that don't know Neil, you do, you do a bit of everything, don't you? A bit you, of everything, yeah. You sort of cover well, it's kind of rack and load, isn't it? It's like whatever you can yeah. get on a rack and, and stuff like that. Which is, uh, that's really bad at that the end. Could, of, that's, you could have said that wrong. Yeah, actually, I, yeah. yeah no, we, we might have to edit that out. It depends <laughs> if the editor leaves it in, so see if it passes. But no, but you do do, you do everything. You cover really whatever is available. Pretty much. Which is yeah. a good thing, because there aren't actually many guys in the UK that do that. Okay. Actually, I don't think there are anyone that know. does the whole thing. I think, it's, anyway, we won't go into that. Long old story. Yeah. However, I would like to say, sir, that actually we all think that you are the smartest dressed man of the show because I'm pretty tatty, let's be honest. Okay. But actually, I got to say, you do look quite dapper, sir. Do you reckon? I have to say, you've got. What, even in a baseball cap? You've got a nice cap on, the shirt looks good. You got, Freshly ironed, I, fri Friday morning? No, Thursday. Okay. Evening. okay. Yeah. yeah. But no, the whole, like the khaki pants, the lot, it really is. Um, yeah, so it's just sense of humour. We'd like to give you an award. Okay. Yeah, so basically, and we've got someone that, that you know, in YouTube land is, is, well, he keeps himself a little bit quiet, but he is, okay. he is here, and that is a, a Hunter's Vermin. He's from Northern Ireland. Oh, so yeah, we're going to step yeah. a little bit of this way because we can get him in then. So we'd like to do a formal present. Well, um, let's be honest, we couldn't actually find anything and it's just fell apart off camera but we couldn't actually awesome. find anything to give you as a trophy so okay. we made you one okay in the finest style and it's something to go yeah. on Brilliant. yeah Thank you very much. smartest dressed man of the show we'll give you that award we couldn't even find a marker pen to write your name on it i do apologize well there you I, go. Would, I will treasure that but it's uh that's yeah there we go did you did you actually make that did yes. you 
You did, yeah. So it's Thank you very much. It's actually handmade. Handmade, yeah. It's actually handmade. Like actually it. handmade. There's not even any coffee in it, which I could actually do. No, which do means it. actually someone's giving you a free cup. You don't get anything free at the British shooting show. That's, so it's oh, not yes. too bad, is it? Yeah. <laughs> we won't go into that. We won't go into that at all. No, absolutely not. So uh, there we are. That's us barred next year. Yeah, probably. I think I've already managed to sort that out myself a oh, lot okay. earlier on in the day without doing this. Usually it's me that gets in trouble. <laughs> oh, I've been in trouble there. I've been in trouble. Anyway, but no, um, yeah, good show. Yeah, Did you really see good. anything you like the look of as you walk around? Let's, let's try and be serious for a minute. Um, I quite like the look of uh, the rack and load girls that were walking around uh, on the Saturday. Um, but yes. Product wise, <laughs> yeah. I, sh motivation there. Should we should we should we work through the motivation structure on that, or should we not? No, no. Well, no, let's good. not. Let's uh, just. Since two of us with waves are here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let, let's avoid that for a minute. The motivation structure on that, but anyway. So, so it was the rack and load girls. Anything else? Um, product wise, do you know what? This is the first time I haven't had a major look around this show. Okay, you've been so busy. Because I've been sort of been stuck here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, for me, I've seen this. There's nothing majorly new from FX, is that? I would say there's nothing majorly new from anyone. No. Let's be honest. No. Um, it was a very much a show of repeats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, repeats and tweaks yeah. would be the polite way. But it's good it. to be here as well. So yes. that's the main thing. So yeah. yeah. No, repeats and tweaks, that's actually that's actually quite a good way of putting it. So we, we will yeah. we'll leave it with that and, and you're gonna be my closing interview, so with the big award. Thank you very much. And I shall take this home and treasure it. I wanna see that in the rap cave. It will be up there, don't you worry. <laughs> it will be up there. I will Friday, be watching Friday. Next <laughs> time. Next time you do a broadcast or you do a video, I, think, I want well, to see that. I think it needs signing. Okay, well, we can do that. We can do we, that. We've actually got a pen. We'll oh, we'll look at this. Do it. All right. Yeah, there we go. But no, listen, mate, good to see you. Thank you very much, good sir. Fun. Thank you Thanks very much. For me. Please do check him out. Links below, YouTube 101. We've been going nearly as long as everyone else, haven't you? Same as all of us. So. Yeah, about 11 years. Absolutely, yeah. So he knows, he knows his stuff. Listen to what he says because uh, he's very good at what he does. Thank you very and much. then we've got this gentleman here as well who has actually walked around quite a lot and carried stuff and helped us out and done sketches so thank you very You're much very well well. we'll put a link for you as well awesome there we go right that's it we're off home thank time you. cheerio uh, bye bye that's bye all now. folks bye bye <laughs> let's go let's go right completely unexpected but always always halfway through the movie the two people in it just do something yeah but did that work no because oh. I wasn't ready for it. it. No, it didn't work at all, but I that's fine. I like, I like your innovation. I, I thought worries. that was quite cool. That's okay. I mean, we just call you. What was the name that shot the member of staff on set? It's just like, hey, I'm just going to decide to fire this gun. It's like, what, what's that got to do with this? It's got well, to you just suddenly that. decided you were off. I, we thought that was quite good, didn't Can we? Can you both yeah. take half a step that way? Thank you. Right. So. Okay. I like the mole bit. Yeah, I like mine more too. We'll do the mole bit in, in a, minute, a minute, but let's do a different angle okay. and not just have you take. I know you've got to go. 15 minutes, sir. 15, 15 minutes. 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 Oh, I am so sorry that we're keeping the talent waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. We need another Spielberg. Right, like, get on with it. Right, okay. I do apologise. Right, here we go. Look at that look. Ooh. Look at that look. <laughs> yeah, it is recording, you know. <laughs> yeah, right, here we go. We get so the really cool part is that once you fold it, it's a little more compact, right? Yeah. You could store away this in your closet. You have more room for bags, handbags, or shoes. Or shoes. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Show some people that we talk to, things I like. I've just completely screwed that up, so let's just do that again.